Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 244 to the power square root of 2 and 2186. Now we're going to try to figure out which number is greater than the other one. Okay, let's start with 244 to the power square root of 2. It's kind of like a weird irrational number. You know, square root of 2 can be approximated using rationals, so on and so forth. Now, so I'm going to start by comparing 244 to 243. Obviously, 244 is greater than 243. And 243 is actually 3 times 81. The reason why I picked 243 is because it's a power of 3. As you know, or you should know, hopefully you know, 81 is 3 to the 4th power because it's 9 squared and 9 is 3 squared. So if you multiply 3 to the 4th power by 3, you get 3 to the 5th power. So to keep a long story short, 243 is 3 to the 5th power. Great. So that's the first part. Now, this gives us something nice because now we can raise both sides to the power square root of 2. Even though square root of 2 is irrational, we can still do this. And we can write this as... 244 to the power square root of 2 is greater than 3 to the power 5 to the power square root of 2. And this implies 244 to the power square root of 2 is greater than 3 to the power 5 times the square root of 2. As you know, if you raise an exponential to another power, then you just multiply the exponents. It's just one of the rules for uh, exponentials which is super duper important, obviously. Now, we were able to compare our number, one of the numbers, to a power of 3. So if you can do the same thing for 2,186, then we're going to be in good shape so that hopefully we can put those together. That's the goal. The goal is to find a common base. Great. So let's now work on 2,186 which means I should be working on 2,187. Why? Because 2,187 is 3 times 729, and 729 is 27 times 27, or maybe you already knew that it was 3 times 243, which is something we just talked about. And we know that 243 is 3 to the 5th power. So now you're multiplying 3 to the 5th power by 3 to the 2nd power, and that gives you 3 to the 7th power. Again, to keep a long story short, 2,187 is 3 to the 7th power. I know when I just write, write it right away, people are going to say, hey, how come you know this, right? Uh, well, you kind of break it down and then you realize. And of course, it's important to be familiar with powers of 2, powers of 3, powers of 5, you know, so on and so forth. Those kinds of things are uh, very helpful. All right, great. So now we, do, we did establish something for 2187, but we do need 2186, which is pretty close, right? So let's go ahead now and write down the obvious statement hopefully, right? 2,187 is greater than 2,186. Yay! This implies what? This implies that uh, we can associate 2,186 with a power of 3 because 2,187 is 3 to the 7th power. Now, I can safely say that 2,186 is less than because we're kind of flipping sides or switching sides is less than 3 to the 7th power. So now we do have two facts and what we're going to do is we're going to put those two together and that way we can kind of build a bridge between these two inequalities. So the, here's the two inequalities that I'm having and notice that uh, both of these are my numbers. So 244 to the power square root of 2 as well as 2186 are both of my numbers and guess what? I was able to compare both of them to a power of 3. Now, now is the time to compare the powers of 3, right? So for that purpose, 
I kind of need to make a comparison between these two numbers. This one and this one. In other words, I do need to know, I do need to know the relationship. That's a box. We don't know what it is. It's greater than or less than. Obviously, these are not equal because we know that uh, 5 root 2 is not equal to 7. How do we know that? While well, square root of 2 is irrational, 5 times that cannot be, uh, you know, a rational number. Otherwise, this would Im uh, imply that square root of 2 can be written as a fraction, which is false. Anyways, so now, how can I compare um, these numbers? Well, if you look at the bases, they are the same. So I need to be able to compare the exponents, right? So I do need a comparison between uh, 7 and 5 root 2. So how do you compare 7 and 5 root 2? And for that purpose, I'm going to go ahead and do the following. How, how about we divide both sides by 5? That way, instead of comparing these two, why don't we compare 7 fifths and root 2? And I think that's an easy comparison. If you think about 7 over 5, that is equal to 1.4. And square root of 2 is about, well, I guess I could write the equal sign if I use dots here. So square root of 2 is 1.4142135623737. Don't worry, I didn't memorize it. Okay, anyways, so that is the square root of 2. As you can see clearly, as you can see clearly, Square root of 2 is greater than 7 fifths, right? Obviously, this number is greater than 1.4. Therefore, we can safely say that square root of 2 is greater than 7 fifths, which implies, now, when you multiply both sides by 5, you get 5 root 2 is greater than 7. Great. Awesome. This is nice because, remember, we were trying to compare these two because we wanted to compare two powers of 3. Now, since 5 root 2 is greater than 7, I can safely say that 3 to the power of 5 root 2 is greater than 3 to the power 7. Awesome! This implies what? Let's take a look at how this applies to our problem. Remember, we were trying to connect these two inequalities in our powers of 5 root 2 and root 7. I mean, not root 7, 7 correction. Okay, so now, we can say the following. We do know that 244 to the power of square root of 2 is greater than 3 to the power of 5 root 2 because we just compared 244 and 243. And 3 to the power of 5 root 2, as you know, is greater than 3 to the power 7, which is, by the way, equal to 2187. And that number is greater than 2186. And guess what this implies? Yay! Conclusion. Conclusion. This implies 244 root 2 is greater than 2186. And in fact, if you look at the numerical values here, 244 times root 2 is about 2378.4. And obviously, that is greater than 2186. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.